Okay, so I've had a few people ask about how the 3D Chameleon Mark II works on a direct drive machine. And um, it's pretty easy to understand when the, uh, the extruder motor from the original machine is actually driving the 3D Chameleon, but how can it work with a direct drive? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, we have in this machine a Mark III uh, Prusa with the Mark II 3D Chameleon installed on it. And I have the uh, four colors loaded all the way up to um, one inch before the top of the Y adapter here. And uh, in this configuration, it's actually feeding directly into the stock uh, extruder. Um, we have this little mount to adapt the PTFE to appear to connect it. Um, and then we have the switch to trigger the 3D Chameleon down here in the bottom. Now, whenever you start up the 3D Chameleon, it's always going to rewind back to the first color. And you'll, I'll do that right now by uh, pressing the switch for one second. And there you hear that grinding noise. That's actually the machine trying to move back all, uh, past its uh, mechanical limit here. Um, so we know we're at color one. To go to color two, we just press it for one quarter of a second. And if you see carefully, that actually moves there. Let's do it one more time to go to color three and to color four. So that's how we cycle through the colors. Now we go back to the first color, we press and hold for one second. And there's your reset to color one. So how do we get it to actually move the filament now? Well, there are two more button press commands. There's a three second pause and a five second pause. So if I, let me go ahead and unhook this. I'm just going to take this screw off here. And right now we are on color one which uh, in this case happens to be yellow. So what I have is, um, you're aware uh, on this particular machine you have auto-loading, um, but we're going to turn auto-loading off, and what happens is our G-code synchronizes these motions automatically for you, um, so you don't have to worry about that. But the Prusa Mark III can automatically load and unload its own filament, and we're taking advantage of that fact. So when we're ready to remove filament, we will unload it uh, all through G-code, doing the same basic things that they do on the Prusa, um, as well as what they also do on the, for example, their MMU as well. Um, so we'll remove it and load it the same way. But how do we get the 3D Chameleon to change the filament uh, is what we're going to talk about now. So the way we do that is, uh, so for example, I, I showed you switching the colors, uh, but now let's go ahead and tell the yellow to advance. And on the two extruders on the right side, that is a three second pause to get them to command, I'm sorry, a five second pause to get them to command to move backwards. A three second pause is the command to move forward. And on the left two, it's the reverse of that because the motor just moves in one direction or the other. Um, and our electronics uh, don't discriminate between which one you have active. So our G code does that for you. So the G-code will uh, command the build plate to move forward, touch the switch for three seconds or five seconds, and then move off of the switch. The next thing that happens once you do that is it will move forward and press the button again. And as long as the button is pressed, that motor will start turning, loading the filament in or unloading it. And it will continue to move the filament until you stop pressing the button. So let me demonstrate that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold for uh, basically three and a half seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. And now I've let off. Now nothing's happened, but when I press the button again, we will see the yellow filament start to move. And here you can see it's actually loading. It's going to come out the tip here. And there you can see there's the yellow filament being presented. Now to unload it, I'm going to do the exact same thing, except I'm going to press and hold for five and a half seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. And now when I press the button again, it will unload. So now I've moved the filament back to here. Now we can switch to the next color, which in this case looks like it's blue, by doing a quarter press, quarter second press. 
So now I've switched to blue, and now I'm going to do the exact same thing again. A three and a half second pulse. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. And press the button again, and it'll continue to move the filament. As long as I'm holding the button in, the filament will move forward. And there's our blue filament. Again, a five second pulse will rewind it. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five. And again, as long as I hold it, it will continue to unload it. And what we will do is we will time the distance that it takes to get from here to our unload point and load point based off of that fixed motor speed. And we'll just put that into our G-code, and our G-code will know how long it takes for it to move from its unloaded point to the loaded point and vice versa. And you'll just adjust your G-code to match your particular machine. So let's go ahead and do the other two colors just to demonstrate that they do work as well. So I'm going to do a quarter second pulse. And now I'm going to do a five second pulse since these are the reverse side of it. The five second pulses will load the color on the back two sides. So one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. And now I'll press the button and it'll load. So this is loading the purple filament. So there's our purple filament. And we'll do a three and a half second pulse to rewind it. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. And now we'll move to the last color. Another quarter second pulse. And a five second pulse for loading. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. And then press and hold to cause the load. So now we should see the green filament. And we do. And again, a three and a half second pulse to unload. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. And now let's go ahead and go back to the yellow and go ahead and load it. So we're going to do a one second pulse to go back to the first color. And now we'll do a three and a half second pulse for loading. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. So there. So that's how you can switch colors uh, with the 3D Chameleon, basically automatically loading and unloading the stock extruder. Uh, we'll unload this one last time and then go ahead and bolt it back up. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, And then we can bolt this back to the machine. So those of you that are uh, um, that understand the system fully will recognize one little issue with that, and that's that if I load the filament in and I leave the drive engaged, uh, what's going to happen is the machine is actually going to uh, get uh, conflicted between this extruder loading and this motor not running. Um, so what we do in that case is once we've presented the filament to the machine, we then let go of it and allow the machine to take over from there. So let me demonstrate that real quick for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pick um, just one of the colors. Let's go ahead and pick the second color here. So we'll do a quarter of a second pulse. Mm -hmm. So now it's 
uh, move to the second color, which is blue in this case. And then we'll go ahead and do a load on that. So we're going to do a three and a half second pulse. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. And then mm -hmm. press the button and it's loading the filament. So you heard that little noise there. We're going to time this. We know exactly how far it takes to get into the system here. We're now going to do another quarter second pulse so that it lets go of the filament. So right now, the blue filament is completely free for the machine to load. At that point, we can then go ahead and do our load. And uh, here we're actually doing a preheat. So it'll do the preheat and then it'll be ready to load. But right now it's actually down into the drive gear waiting for the machine to uh, take it. So once this heats up, this is a Prusa, so they heat up very rapidly. It's already up to 75. And what our G code does is it times that perfectly. As it's being loaded in, it actually runs this motor at the exact same speed as this motor, so that that actually loads into the extruder just a little bit. We then stop that, let go of the filament, and then continue to allow this to load. Uh, but this shows you, this is just a demonstration, it shows you that it will work the same way. So we're at 180 degrees right now. And we press the button, and we can see the filament is being pulled in. So, without doing anything, it's grabbed a hold of the filament, and now it's loading it into the machine. And here we can see the blue filament coming out. So, that's a demonstration of the 3D community and actually loading and unloading the filament, and how you actually send it commands through the single limit switch uh, to allow that to work. Thanks for watching.